this is where we need to be. People get lost in these kind of areas every single day. Because lots of people are really dumb. My journey has started, and so far, I know exactly where I am. I'm definitely lost now. Definitely. I have no idea where I am. But, in a situation like this, it's always good to check your resources. Because resources are very valuable. I have a bag. When you're lost in a forest like this, you always need food, and most importantly, water. We better start looking. Because without food and water, we could easily die. If you look up there, you can see a natural grown can of Spam. They are very, very tasty. I just have to get up there without the Spam falling on my head. <laughs> Spam can also be found at every McDonald's. But when you have such good food like this, it's very smart to save it for when you're about to die of starvation. In non-populated areas like this, even though we got food, the sun will dehydrate us quickly, and we're going to need to find water quickly. Fast. Because it's not very fun to die of dehydration. All I need to do is find a hole so I can get some water. You can find water in every single hole. In holes like these, you can always find water, no matter what, 100% of most of the time. The only problem is snakes live in these holes. But since I'm in Hawaii, I shouldn't have to worry about snakes. I'm going in. False alarm. I thought the water bottle was a snake. Now that I have water, Nothing can stop me. Let's keep going. I learned a technique from my father's grandson that as long as you keep moving up the hills, you will always find some sort of civilization. I can't get up here, so I'm going to have to find a new position. But if I were to go down, it would waste too many valuable ah, seconds. Ah, I hate when I get stuff in my eyes and stuff. But I have a good idea that if I jump to that edge, it will save me time and I can get up over there. But it's going to be very risky. In one false move, I could fall and break my neck. But I'm going to go for it. I'm going for it. <laughs> Is he awake? Oh, I've lost valuable time coming down the hill. And we have to get moving before nightfall. Oh. I hope I didn't wreck the spam. Because I was looking forward to that tonight. I think I will go this way this time. This way looks like a good way to go. I should always break branches when I'm going on my journey. It always makes sure I know where I am. Hopefully, for me. I meant luckily. I'm a very skilled climber. And I should be up in no time. Up at the top. But it's gotten very steep. And it's going to be... Uh, a lot more difficult than I thought. 
the sun can be very disorienting out in the wild. Unfortunately, I've lost my cameraman. Uh, I, I, right here? I have become very confused. I knew that we have to keep moving. We have to move quickly if we want to find a good shelter before nightfall or even civilization. As you can see, the sun is about at the center of the sky. Which isn't actually true. That means I only have a couple hours left. I was way off. In places like these, the camera's over here. Oh, uh, yeah. In places like this, it's very easy to get lost. And me, being a man, we never stop to ask for directions. Because sometimes trees know. It would have been a good idea to ask a tree for directions. In dangerous situations like these, cameramen sometimes get hurt. I am an amazing rock climber with great speed and agility. Dead firewood is great for making files because it's firewood. If I make a quick pile, I can make a bonfire. I've seen this technique used many times in games and movies. I obviously don't know how people do this kind of stuff. Maybe I should learn. I think they need a magic rock with a spell on it or something like that. These are useless. Let's keep moving. There's obviously a bear over there. We have to remain quiet or else he'll see us. Bears live everywhere in Hawaii. They are very common here. It's seen us, it's coming, it's coming towards us. Go, go, go. Bears are excellent climbers. So I don't stand a chance unless I'm a better climber. But my name is Bear Grizz. I've been climbing in almost every TV show. But I wish they were more like reality TV shows because I think this one is just an action-packed thriller. But let's keep moving because that bear is not part of the script. And pretty soon he might get my can of spam. And if that happens, there'll be nothing to stop us from from sure starvation. I forgot that word. Hey. After days and weeks of traveling, I have finally almost neared my goal. I'm almost home. I can sense it. Soon, I will not have to wait any longer. Eat warm food. Sleep in a comfy bed. Because I'm almost home. And there's nothing that can stop me now. Because soon, soon, I will be there, the place where I belong, and I won't have to be out here in this annoying, deserted area, because I will finally be free, unless of course my monkey lied to me, and I will be mad. Hot sun like this. It's very smart. Only really stupid people don't stay hydrated. And some really smart people are actually stupid. That's <coughs> what that was good. And we obviously have plenty of spam left. The can is not open. Obviously, I'm not dead, so we should save the spam until then. We better hurry. We're almost home, and I really want to take a shower because I'm getting very sweaty and dirty. We better keep going. Obviously, I'm not the only one who's been affected by the sun. Ah, cannibals are in this area. We have to hurry. Ah, uh, dude. Help! <laughs> I took care of that cannibal. 
Uh, have to keep moving. What? That was one of our cameramen. <laughs> what? You okay? Oh. Oh. Dude, keep moving. What are you thinking? Why did you attack me? I did. I saw you That's about to step on a loose rock. Obviously, after hours and days of searching, we have not found civilization, and the party's morale has dropped immensely. Obviously, there is no civilization up here. We only have a few hours before the sun going to set. If you ask me, we're all going to die. There's nothing we can do about it.